Well, good morning. The other day I mentioned that I was going to tell y'all about when uh, Mama and, I don't know if Linda or Red, but it was Mama and, I, I really don't remember. Maybe it was just Mama and Betty and I were going to New Orleans. Anyway, we are going to Oshner's to take Betty, um, that's Mama's stepdaughter, Theodore's daughter. She had this problem with, a lot of people have it, apparently it's not uncommon at all. In fact, it's very common where they're, they can't swallow as the older they get, the worse it gets. My brother's actually had his uvula cut out and had surgery more than once, I believe, at least once, but I think more than once. And he, like, he can't swallow pills. He has to go when he eats and several, several people in my family have it. We were taking Betty. She had gotten very thin. She threw up every time she ate and she just couldn't eat going in mama's car that she had at the time <laughs> we left her house we prayed we get on the road we're headed through Hattiesburg mama said literally every five minutes Gloria Jean you better check that gas I looked down and I said mom we got plenty of gas it was just the three of us because Betty was in the back seat and I was driving and mama was over there <laughs> and she said Gloria, you better check that gas. Gloria Jean, you better check that gas. I said, Mama, we got plenty of gas. And we had driven about 40 minutes, and it was freezing cold that day. For, I mean freezing. I think it was like 17 degrees, 19, something like that. And I kept saying, this car gets some good gas mileage. It don't get that good of gas mileage. You better get some gas. I said, I'll get it when we get over wherever, and I kept putting it off, putting it off. We get on up. We go up. 49, we finally get on the interstate. We're headed on 59 towards New Orleans. <laughs> Mama's still steady telling me, you better check that gas. I said, Mama, it's fine. It ain't moved a bit. <laughs> and I said, we're going to get some at the next station. Well, you better. So I don't need any. And so I say, just driving along, you know. About that time, I blew. And I looked down and I said, oh, God. Mom said, she looks over at me and I look up. I mean, I look over at her and she said, it better not, Lord Jean. And I said, Jesus. And she said, I told you. <laughs> we better not be out of gas. And I looked down and the gas light's on. And I said, well, we are. And I tried to pull off the road, and it's going dead. We sat on the side of the interstate for four hours. It starts raining, and I'm steady telling Mama, well, things happen for a reason. Trying to see the positive. Mama ain't seen nothing positive. Betty ain't said a word. She's laughing about it, and she's sweet as she can be. And after about two hours, it's, it's pouring down rain. It's freezing. Can't crank up because we ain't got no gas. We doing all kind of stuff. I flagged down a copy, won't help us, get us no help. Didn't even know. Betty and I both have roadside on our phones, don't know it. Mama has, on her insurance on the car, she has roadside. And until we finally get in touch with it, or we don't know she has that. We just trying to get help of all the time. Finally, I'm just, I got to pee so bad, I just can't stand it. I'm like, I got to pee. I just keep saying, I got to pee. And where we're stopped, there's... You gotta go down this little hill and up the embankment. There's a fence. And Mama's daddy saying, you're not getting out of this car. I said, Mama, I got to pee. I'm not gonna sit here and piss on myself. I got to pee. You're not getting out of, I said, Mama, I, I got to go pee. Well, I ain't got no more clothes. I'm, I'm gonna be really cold if I sit here and pee on myself. Mama, I got to pee. You ain't getting out of this car, so I bet you I do. And we're arguing, and it's it's comical. It really is. But I'm like, Mama, I'm getting out of this car. No, you're not. It's okay. So she's mad, and I, I we're all just getting heated by now. And finally, I get out of the car, and she's gorging. I climb through to the back seat to get out the back door because we're on the interstate. Vroom, vroom. These, nobody's wanting to help us. So I cl go down the ditch. Climb. She's hollering at me, be careful, be careful. <laughs> Climb over the fence and kind of fall over to the other side. Go out in the woods. And I'm looking. I took me some napkins. I go out there. and I, It is kind of scary, but I did go out there and pee. I was about to die. 
So I'll go out there and pee and climb back over the fence. It was easier coming back. I don't know why. I can't believe you just, I said, Mama, I had to pee. So I get back in the car. Betty's laughing at us. And we, Mama finally gets in touch with Theodore, who tells us that they could call somebody. They brought us, I believe it was four gallons of gas. It was enough to get us somewhere. But in between when we got the gas and we could make a turnaround, we saw this wreck and it was like a 50 car pileup because it was foggy that day too. And big, we saw this fire on the interstate, but what it was, it was a bad, bad wreck. And I was like, see there, Mama, I told you things happened for a reason. We'd have been in that wreck if we'd have been up there because the traffic was just held up. And when we got to the gas station, they told us that it had been like that for hours. I said, see, we'd have been in that wreck. I did us a favor. Mom's like, yeah, you think you did us a favor. I'm going to whip you. You better get up there. I, I, see if I listen to you again. <laughs> so we had to reschedule her surgery. So we wound up having it. And I think the next, Red did come back with us the next time. She had it. And so I'll water under the bridge. But that was the story I was going to tell y'all about. Better listen to your mama. Because they are wiser than we are. But Betty got her surgery. We're all over it now and it's a funny funny story when my mom sees this video she probably gonna have lots of comments about what she told Gloria Jean but y'all better listen I was looking at the coolant light but it never moved car didn't run hot y'all listen to your mama you're gonna love it have a good day